What's your name? Kristen. <laughs> okay. I'm a land defender. Yeah. The sightsee project for me is just it's just so unnecessary. Like it's really quite simple. We don't need the project. It's not for the people of BC. It's for industry and it's directly related to Christy Clark's big LNG dreams, right? We do need everything it's going to destroy. The beautiful wilderness, um, intact wildlife habitat, the biodiversity, that beautiful agricultural land that can feed up to a million people for a year, you know? It's just so obvious that we don't need the dam, but we need what it's going to destroy. Um, and destroying all that land and everything, it's just, it's turning the world into a place that I don't want to be a part of, and that's why I'm kind of willing to take this drastic measure, because projects like Sites you go through, LNG goes through, you know, we're not going to have salmon, we're not going to have that agricultural land, we're not going to have amazing fresh food, um, but there's not going to be wildlife, you know, it's a symbolic of the future of industry, and it's not one that I want to be a part of. Christy Clark has every intention of pushing this through as fast as she can. She said in her own words that she wants to get it past the point of no return before the court cases are done and stuff, and it calls for drastic measures. And, you know, I mean, people can only go about three weeks without eating, right? You know, hopefully within three weeks this is fucking done, because if not, like, I'll be gone or the project will be halted, so. We're at that point where there's almost more polluted water than not, and more polluted land than not, and the air, you know, it's, it's just getting so toxic um, that I'm seriously scared for my future within it, and that's why I, I'm doing this. Um, I think it's really important to remember that the earth is a living thing, and it needs it's like intact forest, that's its lungs, right? Like the clean water, that's its, the rivers, that's its veins. Um, without those things, it will die. And we're, we're kidding ourselves if that's not gonna impact us, right? Like we're at a point where we just can't afford to destroy any more wilderness or wildlife. Like we just have to respect that biodiversity and the role that it plays in giving us our own lives. Elsa of Hog Talk, mm -hmm. uh, New Brunswick, Yep. right? Um, what do you think, like what kind of connection do you think that there, there could be made maybe between What's going on here? What's going on there? Totally. Uh, I don't know a whole lot amount of what was going on there other than that it's, it's fracking, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they were just yeah. another beautiful example of indigenous resistance to colonial capitalism taking yeah. their land and ruining it. They stopped that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, uh, do you think that could happen here? Absolutely. Okay. It's going to, right? These people yeah. are willing to put their lives on the line to fight yeah. to the death. Like, yeah. that's kind of an example. Like, this is kind of an example of that, too. Like, if Christy Clark's actually going to push this shit through, it means that she's like declaring war on her citizens because I'm willing to put my life on the line for it.